Okay. Well, Grant Montgomery's here. Uh, that's great. Welcome along to everyone on YouTube. Now, Guy, you were just telling me that I asked you the. Oh no! I better go get the baby. You want to tell me what you were telling me about uh about the Matrix? Oh. It's just um, it's a great movie. I I was uh, channel surfing in a motel recently. Tim was asking what movie I'd rather do this with, and obviously you don't want to do it to any movie. But uh, the the Matrix was incidentally on at the start, and I thought I didn't plan on watching. I just wanted to watch a little bit. But um, the movie doesn't give you an opportunity to stop watching the movie. Every scene is perfect. They all build on each other. They're all like seared into my memory and i hadn't seen this since i was you know a boy um it lends itself to rewatches to enjoy you know all of the different elements it's a shame they didn't make more of them i'll go on the record as saying that um look this this preamble part i know that we're live on youtube now so I just i'm scene. looking i'm looking after a baby i know that i'm also looking after my uh my good friend here who's up against tough times but you know figure it out mate is someone giving you a hard time tim me yeah or are you talking to me oh yeah no i i, I just it doesn't matter it doesn't yeah. matter i've got um i've got a crying baby and it's yeah, streaming yeah, yeah. streaming feeds that i'm trying to get a. Uh, Streaming feeds and streaming feeds, eh? How do you like that? Yeah, that's really good. It's pretty good. Um, well, while you're getting it set up, maybe I can just I'll yeah, set brother. the scene for everyone who's joining us for why we're here and where I'm at and what's about to happen. I'm also very aware that um, I sort of I, sh I shared this. Uh, we just did a, a stream for our Patreons only, and uh, I shared with them that I feel immensely guilty about what no, I've done here. It's crocodile tears, mate. No, I believe it. You. It really um, isn't, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. I can assure you, I feel yeah, 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 dreadful yeah, yeah, about yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah, about absolutely today. Put a sock in it, brother. Do oh, um, hey, you want to announce your health status? Because also the public don't don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, so here's the long and short of it. Last year, May twenty, competition show. Who's a better podcast host out of Tim and I? Various different elements. Um, I did a beep test. Tim brought his knife. We are dueling to see who'll be crowned the best worst host of all time. And as part of that, we did, uh, it was modeled on a, a really great game show called Golden Balls, which in itself was modeled on the prisoner's dilemma. It was like, a, we could negotiate with each other, but we'd make a decision in private and then reveal it to each other simultaneously. And uh, there was a punishment at, 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 you know, um, at hand if we both chose we could either choose to watch together or watch a or like to not watch basically if we both choose to watch together we had to watch sex in the city two together at once pretty acceptable pretty palatable punishment if we both chose to not watch at all then we'd both have to independently watch sex in the city two three times horrible um the obvious thing to do and then the third option was if one of us chose to watch and the other one chose to not watch the person who chose to watch would have to watch it twice consecutively back to back and the other person would have to live i guess with the dark cloud of guilt hanging over them for the rest of their days and that's the path that tim chose you know and it's not for me to pass moral judgment or to to say anything about it other than that that brings us to, to today so today is march 11 2022 just for a little bit of further context on march the 10th um 2022 i tested positive for the world famous coronavirus something i've famously been against now i'm not uh you know seriously ill i'm just tired foggy got a croaky voice and i'm in no mood for it um i'd say that's probably probably the best summation and so that basically brings us to now yeah. where for the next five hours um i'm going to be watching sex in the city two just by myself twice now i'm not going to be engaging with the stream i'm not looking at the comments i am not taking on your feedback i wish i was but that's just not how we're built uh we're following traditional worst idea of all time rules i will have no stimulus to enjoy save for the film itself and i feel um obviously i feel sick on account of having the the virus but i also feel like physically ill at the prospect of what I'm about to do. Yeah. 
God, I don't know what to tell you, man. I really don't. I mean, love every moment, love every day comes to mind just in terms of centering yeah, yourself yeah. In, a, in a moment of presence. Ah. And Sorry, I've just, I've got Remy here. Remy's on mic with me now. Um, do what you've got to do, man. Ah. That's all good. Look, Remy's pretty upset about what's happening for you, dude. I really, I think he's picked up on the general tone and tenor. He knows I feel overwrought with guilt. He knows that you're really going through it and um, <laughs> for, for a happy chap at, 99 percent of the time he's uh you know i think he's expressing what we're all feeling which is a bit of concern a bit of worry for you well he's a thoughtful kid and i, I honestly i love that i'm just um what i'm doing now before mm. I, I i basically just migrate over to watching it is i'm just pumping out the um appropriate advertisements for anyone who's interested i would think of this less as like an opportunity for me to um like this is just something to have on in the background. This is AM radio. This is yeah. the cricket. This is baseball. This is you're doing something in one room. Someone you know is in the other room doing something mm. you're not interested in, um, but they're doing it anyway. Occasionally, I might lob up a comment, you know, throw some information your way. But basically, this is going to be a stream of five hours of me looking deeply unhappy. <laughs> Sorry, just putting the boy down. So, guy, I promised you earlier that I'd. Um, you know, technical shit that shouldn't bore people with, but uh, this is sort of relevant for what people are about to see. I was going to set up all the sort of socials and tag you, and haven't done that yet. Um, a few I've, balls sent in out, I've sent out a tweet and I've put it on Just, my Instagram story. Yeah, yeah, great, perfect, sweet as. In that case, I think should we stop uh, lolling around? Um, tell your friends to go oh. to worstideaofalltime dot com, and if you hit refresh on the the uh, the live stream, should appear for you on the front page um but without further ado guy is it is it time to do the deed <sighs> yeah and for people to join you as well if they if they want to sort of in solidarity help you out by you know, yeah i'll give i'll give, I'll give a countdown sounds great uh, just further context before i start tim you can turn your mic off now i'll just say the last bit of preamble and then we'll go um so obviously now that Tim's lost his microphone, I'd like to put a sort of curse or a hex on him. I have had to rent this movie for $5.99. I'm staring at a blank screen right now, and at the bottom of it, there's a cursor which says 2 hours, 26 minutes, and 19 seconds. Um, and there's not a lot for it. I am going to start watching Sex in the City 2 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This doesn't feel real that this could be happening. This is arguably one of the best bits of the movie and I just like have the deepest sinking feeling.
Samantha Jones is in this movie. Something to feel excited about. Just remembering how unnatural the dialogue is. <laughs> the whole vibe is off. Got an old captain piece of shit on screen now. Oh God. I'm sorry I'm not saying well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch this for a while. I don't care what any of you do. This is about me and my welfare right now. Just had some food to look. I won't eat it now out of respect that we're at the start, but at some point I'm going to have to eat the food. Smiling at your knowledge. Good on you, Steve.
I'm having um, trouble. Every time I try to look at the screen, my eyes kind of glaze over, like there's some sort of barrier between me and the um, the movie. Um, like, in essence, my body is rejecting what is in front of me. And I'd say I'd be lucky if 10 minutes have passed. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, like, we're not even at, you know, 10% loaded. Sorry for swallowing on mic. Carrie just put on her famous Hades Lord of the Underworld hat. I'm actually not against the choir. It is insane how ornate this. I feel like I've probably been to more weddings since I, um, Tim and I were reviewing this movie. And every wedding is glamorous, but this is like. Grotesque. I hate these people. I know it's their day and they get to do what they want and we should be happy for them and celebrate it, but this bad group of people. I'm just going to have a little bit of food. I'm sorry.
So I was dreading this. This is Liza Minnelli. I forgot there's so much to love here. I forgot about the <laughs> the band pretending to play their instruments as some of the, the finest extra acting you could hope for. Liza doing some of the iconic that ones that sidestep with the arms. As soon as we get the main characters talking to each other again, we feel angry. Amanda and Steve seem so happy. Oh, but she up. It's not going to work out, guys. I've seen the future. Miranda's not getting what she needs. It's just confirming everything I remember. The supporting characters carry this film. They're all completely insane. Carrie's talking to a fan who's about to turn on her because Carrie doesn't want to have kids. And the fucked up thing is we love the fan. The fan is somehow in the right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I'm learning right now? I'm taking a lot out of watching Carrie have a bad experience. I'm in a bad place because what I'm enjoying is watching our protagonist. like in a socially uncomfortable position, which people are being rude to her. And I'd almost say this is my favorite part of the movie so far. It's incredible.
every single featured extra, everyone who is not central to the plot of this movie is bringing their A game. They're all operating at 110% and it is a joy to be around. What you need here is an edit of the movie, a mix in which we lower the microphones on the core four and we just lift up the levels on the booms, all the mics on everyone who's surrounding them, all the supporting players, everyone who's filling out the mise-en-scene. If we can just hear what they're talking about. I think we're going to have a lot of a better time. Oh, that's right. Samantha's having loud sex. Harry and Charlotte have a crying baby. And Big and Carrie are really stuck in the middle with each other. It's crazy to me is that like this movie is about them being in Abu Dhabi. And if I didn't already know that, it would be impossible to guess. Not only is Chris Noth an unapologetic piece of shit who should be, you know, struck from the record, he's also an insane actor. It's interesting to think there's a lot more lightness to Miranda we see all these years later and then just like that. So the marriage somehow drifts in the intervening years. Shout out Samantha Jones, just calling it how it is. Literally making any scene with the four of these women watchable. For all of the sane people who aren't watching along with me, she just got upset that her friends bought her breakfast. It's a level of entitlement that in the world of this movie, I can get on board with. Basically, any decisions the characters make, anything that creates tension, makes life worse or harder for the people around them, I've decided I am a fan of, I will support because these characters are making my, and so 
and this goes sort of against my nature outside of this project. It is now my instinct to want to watch their lives be hard. And there's no reason any of their lives should be hard. Except that they're all fundamentally bad people. And so it's what they do to each other and the people around them. It's an incredibly toxic orbit to get caught up in. <laughs> and I love it. I know it defines the the show and therefore it's part of the DNA of the movies and it's a silly thing to ask questions about, but Carrie narrating this makes absolutely no sense. Where are these voice notes going? They just stand in the place of the script writers doing any work or script writer. Oh. I hate the idea that they're slumming it in the lap of luxury. Yo, Carrie, Big's going to die in that wardrobe on a peloton. All of this for nothing. Carrie is harumphing around her apartment because Big doesn't want to go out for dinner with her. Do your own thing, Carrie. Don't call your wife kid, Big. Carrie, literally do anything to... It's rude. Oh. Brady's Mouse Maze and Magda, we are in the pocket for the next minute.
this Marco Rubio looking motherfucker in the legend, rudest man I've seen all movie. Silence Miranda with the wave of his hand. And now Miranda's standing up for herself. More tension worth having, less falsified problems. And Miranda's never been to a child's school, so she doesn't know how to handle herself at these events. That was a nice little slither of movie sandwiched between these mountains of shit. And for the Sex and the City train spotters, we are about to have our first and I believe only booby sighting. Who's loving that? Mr. Goldenblatt. Just saw the word humility at the end of a pull quote for um, one of the reviews on the back of the book. I could not think of a less apt word. This is a great scene too. Charlotte's making her life hard needlessly. She's baking close to 100 cupcakes while parenting her two children. It's a recipe for disaster. We love to see it. <laughs> Basically, when these characters face the consequence of their own bad decisions and their own bad actions, we're in a good place. Just say I'll call you back. This is great. Everyone at Charlotte's house is crying. <laughs> oh, man, they're in a really bad place right now. Samantha's applying vaginal cream through a glass window. Got to have better decorum. Wow. We're 33 minutes into this movie, which means I've got approximately two hours left. And 
only now are they introducing the concept of a country that isn't America, which is where this movie is set. My wires crossed. I think Samantha and Smith Jared are together in the first movie, and she's in LA. And then this is them sort of being adults. Oh, here we go. Biggs just cleaned some food off Carrie's face with his mouth something i have defended previously but is physically repulsive this isn't i know they're meant to be having a good time but this to me feels like the dinner of a couple who are no longer in the pocket i do love that they're listening to erica badu though Again, so there's another moment to look forward to in the movie because Big is about to disappoint Carrie on their anniversary. And it's going to create a source of long-standing tension that we can dip in and out of as the story advances. This is great. This is perfect because no one is in the right here. Great. So I'm just saying that I enjoy that tension, but now Carrie deal with it by talking to Samantha and I'm I'm frustrated and irritable again. It's like what fun watching the inept attempt to remedy or counterbalance the mistakes by you know I don't need to see the mop up. I almost just want to watch the mistakes.
the beginning of tension, not between the, the actors, but between the characters, which we will see come to a head. And, and just like that. funny they write lines about the stock market it's like me doing it big's upset because the market dropped 100 points you don't need to understand the market to write that line and i respect that moxie stop calling her kid It's crazy that Carrie is the protagonist. That we are meant to like her. Oh. It's really dawning on me what's in front of me, which is not just getting to the end of this, but it's making it to this point all over again. This is... really fucked up Great Miley Cyrus cameo. Miley Cyrus rules. What's she up to? This is terrifying because this is kind of approaching what I remember of the movie. This is probably where the first time really since I was waiting to do this today that I'm feeling um, angry and frustrated by Tim. Don't go to the Middle East. I'm begging you, stay home, wrap it up. I can't believe I'm watching this again. I cannot believe. I have four more hours.
It's another one of the great scenes. We've got Big watching Deadliest Catch with the same glazed look in his eyes that I have right now. And a fight to look forward to. Oh. Go, go big. I don't like to say it, but I've always sided with big in this scene. Yes, lobbing grenades. Yeah. That's right. It's a test, dude. Don't turn the TV on. Champion, he turns it on. You don't like each other enough for this to work. And eventually, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't pretty much the whole time. You want different things, and you're not willing to compromise. Yes. Be frustrated. Feel cross. I can't believe I haven't been watching this for an hour already. It makes me feel really sick, really, really unhealthy. Do, 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 do. It's funny to live in New York and have a big black and white photo of the Flatiron Building as art in your house. Like me having a big poster of the Sky Tower up in my house. Go look at it. Great. We're in Carrie's second apartment. Yeah. And it's been hard for her because she couldn't sell it. So don't talk to these guys about hardship because they're on the frickin' level. Okay? Yeah. One of her articles is called Buddy, Can You Spare a Shoe? And then underneath it, the subheading is Who Can Afford It These Days? Yeah, boy. Carrie's staying at her old apartment for two days. It's great. And it's a fly in here. 
we're about to watch Coffee Guy. Here he is, ordering his coffee. I'd like a cup of steaming hot joe, please. Hmm. Meanwhile, Carrie's being racist. One sip of Java. Two sips of Java. Three sips of Java. And this motherfucker is out of there like a shot. I reckon he's going to go and shit himself in a public restroom and that find in New York. Cleaning away his plate and mug, destroying the DNA evidence that he was there at all. It's amazing that I totally forgot this is the start of the movie. Coffee Guy represents the start of the movie, which is these women agreeing to go to the Middle East. I can't imagine anyone's watching me watch this right now. I don't know why I'm talking. Just caught a glimpse of Carrie's dog shit new article that's going to run in vogue. Called Marriage and the Terrible Twos. Spelled T-W-O apostrophe S. Crushed it. This is sick. Big is pitching that they spend two nights apart every week. And it's an instance of something that we love to see. Urge to check phone or seek ex it's probably at record high so far overwhelming we're 55 and a half minutes into the movie i want to be doing anything else i would love to exist outside of this for just a moment
This is such a poorly edited and written scene. It's like argument taking place across multiple rooms in their house, but it's such plodding pacing. There's no urgency. And also, we don't care. We don't care about the outcome. I would recommend getting a palace on in that apartment right now and seeing what happens. Carrie asks, is this because I'm a bitch wife who nags you? And Big does not answer the question. Never have people with so few problems found so much to agonize over. Really galumphing through the scene. Get on a plane. Go to the United Arab Emirates, please. I'm starting to feel physically restless. Cross. I'm avoiding looking at the screen. There's not a lot left for me to do. I could play with a clip. They're on an aeroplane right now and they have more freedom than me. They're at a bar on an aeroplane. It's actually sick. Oh, man. Fuck these women.
I'm just visualizing what I'm going to do after this is over. And I'm thinking, I don't think there is a walk long enough or a meditation powerful enough or a a sleep that is deep enough to wash the kind of sticky stench of this experience from me like i imagine i'll feel differently tomorrow but this is a um it's obviously this uh, tarred my morning and the the longer it goes and it's not been going very long relatively speaking yet but this will represent a blight on the entire day like i <laughs> i don't think i will ever forget march 11 2022 They're in the Middle East, if you're curious. They just got there. And Samantha's getting all of her um, hormones taken off her. Oh. There's still so much to endure. For as long as my eyes were closed then, I was in a, um, a much safer space. It's not something I can do consistently through the film, but um, it's just nice to know. If anyone is watching, 
know that I can't see it presently, but please um just do something nice for yourself or like just a message to list you can DM me. I'll check my DMs afterwards just to say like that I'm going okay. Hashtag decal your nequab. So women all chose to go on the holiday, and the first thing they do is sit around complaining and rubbernecking. And look, I understand you're going to rubberneck on holiday, but no one's making you do this. <laughs> Which is an ironic statement, given that technically no one is making me do this. I, I feel compelled to do it, I guess, because word is bond. I like to think I'm more likable than these characters. I'm, you know, I'm losing, um, feeling slightly untethered from my traditional reality. I'm actually feeling quite wavy, like, but I think, I think I'm better than <laughs> these people, maybe. AM August 26th 2008 I think
Is George W. Bush president right now? Or does it... So he voted out at the tally in 2007 and then the new president assumes responsibility at the start of the next year. I think that's right. I think Barry's the boss. Whoa, yeah. Big fright. Oddly finding the footage of this man stirring a saucepan or saucepan of milk. Very soothing. I've not really warmed milk in a saucepan before, but I'm just wondering whether or not you need to stir it. I imagine it could develop a film on like the side of the pot, but... I reckon you could just turn the pot on and let it ride. He's mixing in cinnamon now, so it makes sense, but... Oh, Carrie's let other people's lives. She's being introduced to the concept of empathy. be interesting to see whether it takes or whether or not her body instinctively rejects it. Kim Cattrall just did the accent. I think there was a gag just in, like a visual gag, that they have more food than they can eat. And this is funny to... Well, it's funny to everyone, isn't it? It's funny because I suppose in the world of the movie, the way that these women are being treated, which is like a private car each, more food than they could possibly eat, that's the assumption of what Americans like and none of these women are questioning it it's the correct assumption which is <laughs> so fucked up great great let's go and meet Aiden at least it represents a version of story Oh, uh, yeah. I love that. You must not have the forbidden experience.
the scorekeepers, I'm now over film, which means I'm a quarter of the way through the project, which means that uh, things are going badly. There is a, you know, this is analogous to the the broader vision of the initial podcast, the worst idea of all time, which is like, the longer this is happening for, the more potentially interesting it will become. Although I actually doubt that to be true today, I think. <laughs> I don't think this is going to become more interesting. I think it's just going to become sadder. Stupid motherfucker, Gary. Aiden, haven't seen you for a while, brother. Let's take a look at you. Is he handsome? He has an endearing face. I'll give it to him.
the fact that the Rugby World Cup tryouts are taking place during this movie with all the teams there at once in Abu Dhabi is one of the finer details of this film. It's a real testament to the um, attention to detail. Charlotte's just introduced the use of the word into French and everyone's having a bad time and I'm not even enjoying it. I'm having a bad time. I'm going to turn this into French and into an into fun shin. And then a crazy woo. Uh, <laughs> there is so much not to enjoy in this movie. It's almost impressive. Also, the headphones on, it's like really beating it into me. Oh. What have we got to come? I'm going to write on these outfit change. Uh, sort of slightly Middle Eastern arrangement of the Sex and the City theme. A picnic in the desert. The introduction of Dick Bot. A karaoke. Kerry Kazaden. Samantha gets into trouble with Dick Bot. Kerry has a meltdown. Miranda has to save Samantha. They return to New York City. Kerry and Big reconcile. I watch the movie again. It's giving me a headache. Is 
any chocolate in the house? <laughs> That's Chelsea checking in. I love that woman. Getting some chalky in the mix. I hear that blood sugar up. <laughs> Still another hour of this first screening to go. karaoke scene musical shift the arrival of chocolate we're on upward surge it's not going to last long but you know you got to enjoy these moments it feels like the first time it feels like the very first time it's gonna be some great social and political commentary from our core four now live streaming this <laughs> so it's currently talking back to you or are you just no one's it? talking it's just me <laughs> laughing at. you so i've just told chelsea what i'm doing She's laughed pretty hard at that. I don't think she knew. She thought I was talking to Tim, not myself. I got no idea if anyone's wondering, but this is it's a thirty two percent milk chocolate with caramel sea salt. It's close to the greatest thing we've ever tasted. I am strong. I am invincible, invincible. I struggle to believe that people would get behind this the way they do in the movie. With a long, long way to go until I make my mother or my brother. Un oh, yes. This is such a stirring rendition of I Am Woman, Hear Me Roar that people across the entire spectrum of gender, religion, ethnicity are standing and charge 
on the back of this just round iteration of I am woman. But that was actually a real high point. The chocolate and the, the music and seeing Chelsea. That was really nice. It's quite tragic to hear Samantha declare them as soulmates in light of her being iced out or her icing carry out of their friendship and later intellectual property fetching the same characters. I forgot about this. Garon is opening Samantha's mail. <laughs> it's just so illegal. <laughs> Now, this is another scene we enjoy. Carrie gets absolutely slated in a New York review. Which is basically what happens if you don't work on what you're releasing. On talent your whole life. <sighs> nice. I love that the review encourages Carrie to stop <laughs> releasing anything, you know. It's not wasted on me that I'm sitting in here railing against a movie that was made 14 years ago and that no one is making me watch, but I'm just working with the situation and working with what I've got. Oh, this is a bad scene. Carrie's going to cheat up. Wrote a bad book. <laughs> oh, Carrie. Everyone else has got lives they're living as well, you know. You don't have to torpedo the entire holiday because you wrote a bad book. It's so entitled. Oh, just performing anger, trying to fuck the vibe for everyone. I was saying boo, Radshaw. And the fact we follow Carrie because we're meant to care about her. It's disrespectful to the other characters in the movie, but most of all, it's disrespectful to us. No one cares what you do, Carrie. Go ahead, walk ahead by yourself. And now 
we get a voiceover of her describing what is already very clearly being visually told to us. Man, I'd love to sit down in an tweet and just snip, snip roughly two hours minutes out of this film. Diamante, Sex in the City 2, opening credits. Roll credits. Bang. There's your movie. And the, you, like you'd think because she's about to cheat on Aiden and the rest of the film is character. You'd think that this would represent like the home run, the descent to the closing credits, but <laughs> we're still 50, 45, 50 minutes away from that. Oh. Carrie's going to burn some bridges here. Oh. Carry, 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 carry. What are we going to do with you? We're going to spend a bit more time. To... That's what we're going to do with you. Thank you to everyone who's on this journey with me. I don't know. I could be saying thank you to no one, but. There is a peace of mind that at least one person is traveling alongside me through space and time. Oh. I am not even a mother. And I can feel the condescension aimed squarely at me, or mothers, I should say, streaming out of this. I've got really harrowing memories of this back and forth. It's not fair. It's not, it makes me resent two of its lead characters getting their own scene. Charlotte's dabbling in emotional honesty here.
this one are plastered. These women who like constantly are drinking and plastered after drinking half a cocktail in the world of that scene. The one that got away. <laughs> Aiden actually offers some crazy line reads in this movie. Abu Dhabi? You? What? How? Where? <laughs> He's phoning it in. <laughs> I might have observed it before. I don't remember, but... He's on holiday. He's on a well-paid holiday. I wonder if like an actor like him gets given the whole script, reads it, it's like, this is going to be bad, so I don't need to bring my A game. And then just shows up and checks out. Technically unprofessional, but also, if all of your scenes are coming after one and a half hours of a two and a half hour movie that is watchable from the jump, I don't think he's for not trying. Tell you what, I'm going to be taking a wee during the closing credits. I totally forgot that Carrie blames her cheating on Big on her friends who just told her not to go to this dinner. Man. She is diabolical, and Aiden is going hard. Uh, she's vulnerable because she can't write anymore. Yes. me to be impressed that Aiden remembers one new thing every time he visits a country. He's up to four things, everyone. Aiden can remember four things. Man. They just cheated on their spouses. <laughs> Crazy that we've spent one hour and 48 minutes building to that moment and now we're going to spend 40 minutes unpacking it. And it's such a non-event. Yeah, Carrie, everyone needs everyone needs to get around you for a mistake they told you you were making. They're kind of as responsible, the friends. She's got her own shit happening, Carrie. I struggle to believe that he would have a Hummus face mask on. Samantha rules. Samantha Jones makes this movie. She makes the show that I haven't seen and is not canon. You always were. Mm. 
Do me a favor, sleep on it. Great advice. Applicable in nearly every circumstance. Oh, <laughs> we get to see this guy, this Danish architect slash European android stacking a massive erection through his linen pant. Shout out to all my boys with erections and linen. <laughs> no better feeling. <laughs> so gross. She's filleting a like a smoking device. It's called shisha. Something about erections and linen is like a name for something I'm really warming to. Staggering to me. So, Richard Spurt, a dick bot, is undeniably handsome and he's sort of dirty talking with Samantha right now to turn each other on. And one of the advertisements he has for what he'd be doing if they were in Paris, not the Middle East, would be hand down blouse, simultaneous nipple touching, which is like, it doesn't matter how big your hands are. You could have. I think Rajon Rondo in the NBA has got famously massive hands. It's just not a natural distribution of finger to be stretching out that far. Oh, yeah. Here's the problem, Carrie. No one cares about your problems. Two oh seven. That would leave by my count. Two hours and fifty three minutes of this. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> go off, Carrie. Are you physically okay? It's great to see Big in his office. Everything's sweet, Big. The stock market's down 100 points. You're colorblind. You can't read or write. And your wife cheated on you with her ex-boyfriend? but she's all good because her friends didn't think she should tell you, which is what the real point of conflict in this conversation is about. <sighs> I'm a little boy, I'm a little boy in the world. And I don't know what I'm doing. I know I feel so sad. I feel sad because this is still, still just the beginning for me today. There's still so much more to go. Why am I here? What?
what is this life I live? Please hang up now and roll the credits. Boo! The movie continues. Love that external shot. Oh, yeah, that's good. We've got a shot. Three shots consecutive, each from further out than the one before it. A big leaning on a big glass window in his big old office where he does his big old big of ideas. Oh, no, Kerry. Someone's got a bigger problem than you. How's life going to go when you can't center yourself? As the star of the show. Bless me. Oh, Carrie, this is not about you right now. Nice. Oh, that's right. The final conflict is that they might have to fly home <laughs> and coach. <laughs> this is my shit. Oh. Your condoms, your your condoms full of passports, mate. I meant to say your passports full of condoms. Unopened though, to her credit. God, she has a lot of condoms in that purse. How are we talking about you still, Carrie? Have you asked Charlotte how her holiday's going? Have you got any idea that other people are living their lives as well? But I won't. Really interested to see if I feel elated or devastated at the end of this movie with respect to one foot and one foot out. Glove house full, glass house, glove house empty. What does this look like? Bit of fun. It's amazing what you can do with a microphone, a movie, and a children's bull clip. Yeah, yeah, boy. To be fair, I did just remember that Big jilted the shit out of Kerry. They're both drowning in ammo on each other. Oh. Mm. Love this guy. Forgot about this guy. Bay Doon at the front desk. My man. MVP.
technically meant to be fun at times. Packing in a hurry. Just got no sympathy. Between them, they do have $22,000 a night. How did it not occur to them that this was insanely expensive? Like, they just assume this is what their life has meant. Oh, Carrie. You beautiful white saviour. Some things only a wealthy woman from America can do. And that's advertised the value of marriage to literally anyone else from anywhere in the world. She'd know. She just tried to throw hers away because she wrote a bad book and someone said so in a magazine. Hi, I'm Guy Montgomery and this sucks. Oh, my sympathies lie with you for having to travel in a traditional taxi. Ah, oh, sport. I forgot about that. What a fucking hot little detail. Because if she'd remembered it, we'd be on the flight home by now. Every single problem these women are facing, they brought on themselves. They brought every single problem unto themselves. Every single problem unto themselves. But it's someone else's fault. Because no such thing as personal responsibility. When you're a millionaire from Manhattan, this is not their fault. The blame lies at the feet of someone else. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. oh. These get are on the cusp of getting, but it. Because that's not how the world works. Pew, pew, pew. I'm in a pretty good zone right now. I mean, it's into the film. Obviously, another screening to come and some loose ends to tie up presently. But, like, vibe wise, still on that chocolate high, full tummy, feeling hydrated, 
pretty clear head. Not too sick. Not feeling too resentful towards my main man, TB. It's just crazy. Like, I haven't made a feature film, so far be it from me to be in a position to criticize the shortcomings of this or any feature film, but these story beats are so threadbare. It's impossible to care about these characters. And like this whole sort of falling action as they try to escape this lavish PR holiday that they assumed was their right, which is Carrie lost her passport, something that they advertised so clearly halfway through the movie. Charlotte hasn't bought a gift for her husband and children. Miranda's trying to wrangle everyone. Samantha has condoms in her purse, which was mistaken for stealing a counterfeit. Like, it's all first draft stuff. There's no layers. The only thing I really feel like we need to do before we get back to America is unveil some designer clothes being worn by the woman of Abu Dhabi because capitalism and high fashion travels across borders. be so good if they followed them in it this is bad this bound and gagged for a couple of days just to learn a lesson nothing bad happens to them they're just like restricted and fed gruel man i'm i said i was in a good spot not long ago but i must be in a pretty bad place to be throwing some of these ideas out there usually i've got tim here to try and course correct when I'm becoming too unmoored I feel like I'm in a dangerous zone yeah nice 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 Yeah, Suzanne, and I tell you, all women are the same, and the way they are is like the core four from Setsa 2. Yeah, you, oh, celebrities in this town if you're from New York City, let me tell you. Greatest city on God's green earth. The Big Apple. Or as they call it in New York City, Paul. Oh. This deserves a voiceover from Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The only value these women from abroad have is the clothes they wear. Mm. I have a fun caperish appropriate culturally appropriate idea. Hmm. Let's remember these are the same women 
it was speculating about how uncomfortable they'd be in these clothes when they first arrived in Abu Dhabi several years ago. The movie at this point is sort of something that's happening around me. I feel like I'm seeing things in bullet speed. I'm evading the film. It's a great Brazil t-shirt there in that shop. Oh. I use a callback here, one of the laziest devices to create the illusion of storytelling. That's right, Carrie. You watched a black and white movie with Big. She unveils her leg. Incredible, no one said anything about Smith Jared's poster being there. Oh, I can't believe it. We're going back to America. I'm a mess. Ripping off Oscar Wilde. There is nothing this movie won't do for an attempt at a laugh. Yeah. Hmm. This would be a better movie if Big never showed up again. I can't believe I'm about to watch this again. Really going to have to go to the bathroom pretty soon. <sighs> no TV. It's actually really good acting from Kristen Davis there. Moments have really jumped out at me. Man, being fashionable looks uncomfortable and exhausting. You're at home by yourself. You don't need to wear a matching bra and panties and like a sheer nighty that runs over your feet. Liable to trip up and bang your chin. Just chuck on a t-shirt and some undies like the rest of us. You know, I was doing the maths recently. I've got um 33 t-shirts. It's too many. But I love t-shirts. Big time. We're reaning towards a conclusion here. I'm trying to remember what happens. They have, and then we have to hear True Colors. True Colors is the the final death rattle of Sex in the City two one. Ever mind. For thine, ever else I got it wrong. Thine, great word. Don't get a lot of mileage out of it these days, but ever thine means that I belong to you. So currently I feel like I'm thine to Tim. I'm thine to this movie. Ever thine is what I say to Sex in the City too. From the middle of my purgatory. <sighs> Do you know that in two and a half hours I'm going to be doing whatever I want and I'm not going to be doing this? Did you even know that? Because that's where we at. Brother... Oh. 
I don't know, Big. I don't know if you, Jilting Carrie, and Carrie kissing an ex-boyfriend are on the same page. I think Jilting's pretty damn near the top of the list of egregious errors. Hey, and if you're both bored with each other, why not try seeing a couples therapist? I don't know. Opening things up. For a show that's ostensibly about sex or a film, it appears that the only form of relationship they're willing to analyze or even acknowledge exists in this movie is your garden variety monogamy. You could redefine what cheating is, dudes, to allow for a little bit more leeway so that Carrie could make out with Aiden and we don't have to watch this whole movie again. I don't know shit, I'm just <laughs> losing my mind. Q Sydney Lapis True Colours. Yes. Is that you, guy? Is that the movie? Not quite. We're just watching Miranda um, with an incredibly diverse group of colleagues serving lunch. We're about to watch Samantha and Captain Dickbot go and hammer and tongs in front of some Fourth of July fireworks. Nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. I forgot that. The nanny Charlotte's been nervous. Runkle's going to cheat on her the whole movie's gay. It's the final little twist in the tail. An outstanding reveal. Fuck. Honestly, I can see why they made in just like that because if this is where you left your storied franchise, you'd be gutted. I see your true colors. That's why I love you. Oh. Hashtag decal your niquab. Oh my god, we are so close. In the great words of John from John Bon Jovi. Whoa. We're halfway there. Sick, 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 sick. Get it over with. I want to go for a piss. Come on, guys. Today. True colors shining through. Yes. Yes. The end. It says the end. I'll wait until they change the song and roll some names. That is very legit of you, man. Shout out to everyone who made this movie possible. Hey, you, Tim. <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you traveling? You're doing all right. Nice. I've been on a real journey. I, I know, dude. I feel like the, the thing I'm feeling is, is guilt and remorse, which I did at the <laughs> outset. I've just I felt very responsible and very awful about it. Oh, well, look, man. These are the decisions we make and the lives we lead. I've got credits now. I'm going to go to the bathroom quickly and top up my water. Yeah, fantastic. You going and to I'll, um, I'll be back shortly yeah, nice. to just dive straight back in, I guess. Uh, well, just a note for everyone. This will this will stop for just a second. I just got to switch a flick a switch here. Um, but hopefully, this will just come back online instantly. Guy, 
Congratulations. Go take a well-deserved purse. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Everybody, yes, as the uh, comments have noted, there is there's a baby in the background here now. There's a little Remy. Um, thought he'd be asleep. He isn't because he's a legend, like our hero, Guy Montgomery. Uh, this is a tremendous effort, and I know Guy's at the bathroom right now, but I know that I can speak on his behalf that as soon as he gets out, he is going to be absolutely delighted to know that at any given time, at least about 70 internet travelers have been walking the path along with him. If you missed the preamble at the start as well, you may not know this, but Monty is in uh, the thick of COVID. He just got COVID. So on top of um, what is already a very challenging exercise in mental and physical tenacity, uh, he is probably at his lowest physical condition for some time. So congrats to him. And well done to everybody who was watching along. There was a lot. I didn't actually anticipate anyone doing a watch along to this. Um, that didn't occur to me, but that's how excellent you guys are. Surprising number of people uh, in the chat watching along and seeing for themselves just how incredibly challenging this film is. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell Remy that you will stay by after this. We'll do a big debrief quite unbelievable that um that guy's got to do this all again and i'll I, I don't want to dwell on that too much and bum him out when he gets back on the can so i'll just say that now but that just seems freaking crazy and unethical from me to be honest um so we made our bed we lay in it now what i'm actually i've decided i'm going to do i was supposed to do it yesterday but i ran out of time is i've got to upload the uh we we filmed the live show actually the poster's just behind me there that finger um for the the best worst host of all time where the stakes and the competition took place which set this wheel in motion uh that was a, a patreon exclusive locked away for our supporters whom we love but um i think the time has come that for a bit of context we'll Buff that up on this here channel um, so that you can all see the moment when it happened. It was pretty crazy. I do. <laughs> I, I, I didn't feel guilty at the time. I just thought it was the funniest thing to do, which guides a lot of my decision making. Um, and, you know, with the fullness of time, I do sort of stand by that decision. We were doing um, what you'd be treated to on that that show as well I'm going to put the full video up is we kind of took turn choosing different categories and rounds of competitions for it and guy just got us to do a running race for about 15 minutes on stage at one of the most beautiful theaters in the country q theater we we're in their biggest facility and we just spent one of the rounds just sprinting to and fro oh. the uh stage what up my g hey monty how you feeling bud honestly i've got i've got a uh, a soda. I got some more chocolate. I got a banana. I got a full bottle of water. Yeah. I just want to do this. Like this is. This, I feel pretty good. I honestly feel like okay. I'm in the middle of a race. Um, I've got like a weird energy. Uh, yeah. Let's ride it. I think yeah. ride that, dude. Do you want to just rip the rip the bandaid yeah, yeah. off? Rip the bandaid off. So hey, well, just I want you to know, guy. There is a good, strong 70, 80 people that have been with you the entire journey. Holy there are some people watching along with you. There's no doubt in my mind that at least one punter here will be watching for a second time along with you. So know that the angels ride with you, my friend. There is a lot of love and support oh, for Guy Montgomery out like, there. Honestly, you have so much time in this movie to think about, like what the experience of this existing as a live stream is which is like what is what is this anyway like, look i'm just going back in um fabulous oh hold on i've lost the neon link i'm just gonna oh, yeah. refresh no, my okay. page surely that <laughs> it would be if i have to rent it again <laughs> just while you're doing oh man that would just be a cherry on top how much did that set you back by the way 5.99 nz do 
How's our dollar um, going against the greenback right now? Couldn't tell you, bro. I'm going to look it up. Honestly. Uh, 69 US cents. So, you know, you know four, they that, they 420 nice. probably. That 420. All right. Yeah. No, um, I don't have to pay for it again. So I'm going back to zero. All right. I'm going full screen. Godspeed. Drop me in. I'll see you in a couple of hours. In two and a half hours. Love you, mate. Take Love you, buddy. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to start watching Sex in the City 2 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. <laughs> okay, I feel physically sick. I just got to say, by the way, if you're in Melbourne... I'm coming to do the comedy festival in April. It's so much more entertaining than this. Please buy a ticket. Tell someone you know. And after that brief brush with reality I just engaged in, let's get back in the soup. Tell it how it is, Carrie Bradshaw. All right. Glossing over the harrowed, hallowed history of Manhattan and land ownership in to America. Oh. That is how long the high lasted about being halfway through the work. It's this musical shift. I've got to turn it down, honestly. I heard that so loud the whole time. So... We're sort of like, they start with your traditional empire state of mind, then they transition into this sort of like upbeat instrumental arrangement that ties that to the Sex in the City theme. And then it's just, oh, here we, go. we back on, motherfuckers. We back on. Literally throw everything you've got at me. I will never deal with any of this again. I don't care. I don't care about anything you've done. I'm above this. This isn't even a movie that challenged to me. This is fun. This is a hub. I do this on my spare time. And I'm I'm seeing all of this for the last time. Never again. Never again. Never again. Yeah. I'm smiling. I'm feeling good. Gonna have a drink. I have a banana. I should have a banana first. I'm gonna have a banana. got a great bait and switch here love that man in the background i remember tim and i used to say that he was reporting and whether we we're watching nice to give him something to do i'm back bitch he's making his by himself this time it's very unusual her best gay friend is marrying my best gay friend and i expect you a woman i've never met before to be excited by that yeah that's right samantha gay people love to settle for gay people in their 40s famously ring a ding 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 the inn at drake point wonder if it's a real hotel if you're watching along and you're allowed to be on the internet have a look 
The Inn at Drake Point, Connecticut. Real hotel? Not a real hotel. I'd love to hear. Your tie looks fine, dude. Oof, this movie is going to be... Fuck, you guys are really on the ride with me right now. I'm oscillating wildly between highs and lows. But after this burst of energy fizzles, I know that I'm going to be dropping down low, 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 low. Yeah. Good gear. Sacrificing of the straights. They've got it at all gay weddings. Good gear. These guys riff. They have a lot. At the end of the day, that's... You need to be able to laugh. Different people have different priorities, but I've always said you've got to laugh. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. <laughs> I laugh like that. Bananas are funny fruit. That's funny. Then I better do my best. Oh, not yet. Cue music. If ever I should see you, I don't know the lyrics. It wouldn't be in summer. Seeing you in summer, I. Seems cruel to have all the musicians standing up. Strings and strings, str string music. <laughs> string musicians traditionally sit. But what do I know? Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Let's get some riffs going. Let's remind people what we love about this show. Is this universe? It's the witty repartee. It's the back and forth. It's the calling it how it is, and every now and then saying something that perhaps should remain thought. <laughs> I mean, these folks are crazy. Oh. You should be a little more PC. That's right. You should you should open up a conversation on PC culture at a big gay wedding in 2008. And you should see if we're still talking about that 14 years later in March 2022. Hey? Yeah. Fuck. One thing that this movie lacks is Steve in the second half. We should have a Steve cam. There should be picture in picture on this film. There should be Steve cam, bottom right, the whole damn time. What's he doing? Where's he at? Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Good line read, Steve. It's interesting. A lot of the characters do crazy line reads that sort of puncture the world of the movie. But when Steve does it, it really consolidates what I'm watching. I also love, I love Mr. Goldenblatt, a.k.a. Runkle. I love his, um, all right, who wants a cocktail? So he says, cocktail. Some words just sound better in an American accent. Willie Garson, the great. R.I.P., brother. You will be missed. Crazy the Queen owns all the swans in the Commonwealth. There are some pretty gnarly swans at Western Springs in Auckland that I reckon she wouldn't want to be associated with. But she is bound to. Fuck, the Queen's old as hell. Is the Queen 100? When the Queen turns 100? <laughs> yeah. Possibly a fun idea. Don't have the energy to take it anywhere, but, you know, something along the lines of, you did it, you old bitch. And then maybe she'll try heroin. Maybe that's the deal she made with herself.
fascinated to know if anyone's doing this with me. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Did you know that? Watching along now. The hat says, Hades, Queen of the Underworld. Nice. Respecta. Oh. Okay. Another constant movie highlight. I've enjoyed it when I've done a season before. I enjoyed it on the first mention it. I'm enjoying the iteration of Sunrise Sunset by the men's choir. The real highlight of this song, though, is the surprise that they wear on their face at the reveal of Liza as the celebrant. There's a few great looks around, totally aghast. They obviously haven't been told this is going to happen. They're as surprised as the guests themselves. Miranda's got great energy at the start of this movie. She's actually, I, I remember being fond of her during our season. It kind of carries, like, she probably experiences one of the bigger falls from grace between Sex and the City 2 and just like that, in my personal estimation. But here we yeah. go. There's going to be some choir here. Yes. That guy in the back. His head does a full. What's that? 90 degree swivel. From here to here, is that 90 degrees? It's at 180. It's 180. Because if it went all the way, that'd be 360. Is there to there 180? Anyway, Miranda's got great energy in this film. And then because she's not satisfied in her marriage, and because I love Steve, I guess, she sort of she turns some sort of corner between now and the present day. And grooms. Bridegroom, ah, oh, brooms. Hate that gag. Hate that. And everyone laughing at it makes me hate everyone at the wedding. You're allowed to. Laugh. It's none of my business, but it's just too big of a laugh. Yuck! 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 yuck. We laugh. We laugh when Liza Minnelli is the cell. Liza Minnelli. I'm losing it. This banana's probably gross for you to look at. I'm really sorry, everyone. All the single ladies. Go off, Liza. I'm actually, I know I said earlier in the in the broadcast, in the experience that I was in no mood for it, but right now I am in some mood for it. I can kind of handle it. He's up on me. Many attention. Check out our old boy banging away on those cymbals in the background good couple of inches between the drumstick and the percussion instrument keep your distance dude if you hit that cymbal we're gonna have to start this take all over again and Liza Minnelli is huffing and puffing up a fucking storm dancing to this if your drumstick so much as touches one of those cymbals you're gonna be fired and if Liza has a heart attack you're gonna be legally liable for that it's in her contract no, Charlotte. Shouldn't do a damn thing. Steve's got a little groove on. He's bobbing his head. And if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. That's right. If it is something you liked, then you... Should have put a ring on it.
so we wouldn't have to dance to that song. Nice. Just this one time, they should make big buy. Yes. Get him back to the bedroom. Let him throw you around a little big. Make a change. If you don't, your wife's going to cheat on you. Both of these people in this couple of asses. I just want to say I feel very vulnerable eating this banana on camera. Shout out to Stanford and Anthony for only inviting couples to the dance floor. Single people shouldn't be allowed to dance. Thanks. Shit, I'm drowning in treats and snacks here. Searing yeah. high. And then I'm going to come down hard. You're going to watch it happen. It's around the hour mark. We've already breezed through the first 18 minutes of this screening. Honestly... I feel like the whole big gay wedding, when does it drop off? Like basically as long as we're at the wedding, I, I don't feel the same sort of deep existential agony that I do later in the film. I lay concrete. Yeah. 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 Maybe next time I have sex, I should just yell out yeah constantly as loud as I can. I mean, I trust that these guys doing this is aligned with how they're feeling in the moment, but it seems absurd.
Okay. I'm back in reality, everyone. That was a pretty good high between the end of that movie and the start of this one, but I'm very much boots on the ground, back at base camp, starting to climb the mountain all over again. If you're wondering, it's a pretty gorgeous day outside here in Auckland today. Let's say a balmy 23, slightly overcast, gentle breeze. I can occasionally feel wafting through the window. It's, um, you know, I am isolating, but this house is not without places to sit outdoors. There are other things I'd rather be doing. It's also like, you know, tonight I'd love to unwind by watching a movie, but I think I'll be done with movies for the day. For any of my Denver Broncos fans who are watching, um, how great is that Russell Wilson trade? Looks like it's going to be a great year of football. Women who are not a women our age, gotcha. Always love the shirtless fellas playing croquet in the background there. I always assumed it's called croquet, but I feel like I've heard people call it croquet. Croquet, croquet, croquet. It's got to be croquet. You say any word long enough, it starts to feel different. Mm. We are watching a movie. Never seen the Kim Cattrall movie Mannequin. Watching this, knowing she's not in the others, knowing what little I do about her, this really does tempt one to go on a... um. Kim Cattrall binge. Charlotte, you brain dead drone. Charlotte is a long day. The issue is like, I want to have an open mind and but I just have such a rich history with this film and these characters as they are represented in this film. I have such a determined idea of what I think of everyone that I struggle to see anything except what I expect to see I haven't thought about this detail but it's quite nice um, because of these screenings I would imagine I don't have an exact number on it but I must be the world record holder for most times having watched Sex in the City 2 at least two in front of my nearest competition, Tim Bat. And what's not to love about that? It's also crazy I have um, COVID-19. Spent the last two years trying not to get this thing, and now I've got it. And I'm watching Sex in the City 2 again. Man, the more things change, eh? Need to blow my nose. I'm so sorry for all of the sort of little intimate details that I'm peppering through this. It's just, I mean, it must be crazy. You're watching this through my laptop. Like, this is the worst nightmare for a lot of people to be on display while they're trying to tune out and watch something. Love and Margaret Thatcher in the background. It was, but some blend of the two in the background of frame there. Also, I like that the guys have got their golf clubs out here. There's no suggestion that they're going to play golf, that they have played golf, that they even, you know, dabble in golf. Got the clubs out on the on the 
on the carpet, on the carpet, on the lawn at the big gay wedding, and they're just like comparing irons, just taking a look at. We're back in New York. Okay, nose bloke coming up. Husband's going to die in there on an exocycle. Nice to see the desk in the bedroom in the background of frame there. And I haven't really noticed this before, but it's very much in use. It's a functional desk that Big overrides with his bedroom TV. That's funny. Worth noting, this is when I start to get really angry at the movie. And that is the same point they introduced marital tension. Something I believe as recently as about two and a half hours ago I was championing as a good development for the film. It's just like, I guess knowing what they do with this and what it represents for the next two-ish hours. Where are we? Yeah, we're about half an hour in. It's frustrating. It's a frustrating the journey that the sins carry on. God. I couldn't stand this. If I'm like reading a book, enjoying myself in my home, the last thing I want is for someone to come and sit down in my area, like where they are spending their energy on me and start pointing out things I'm doing. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Mouse maze. Probably Steve's best line read of the whole movie. Go somewhere there, appreciate you. Get yourself a proper job. Brady's undergone a huge journey from to where we see him in and just like that. Pot smoking sex machine. I remember being shocked during the season that we did on Sex and the City 2 when Tom, when Tim celebrated Tom for putting his hand in front of Miranda's face. But, and I like Miranda in this movie, but I really enjoyed it today, twice. And in turn, I enjoy Miranda standing up for herself. What is static electricity? Shouldn't win first prize. Something crazy is happening. Like the, that's the least trick I found in there just then in the background there's like these sort of colourful card books that have been cut out with different things written on them by kids I guess maybe ideas for a book with, a, with the project they were doing at school and one of them says so many cats and cats is in all caps with an exclamation mark almost like the very movie itself so many cats presumably the title for Tom Hooper's cats 
If you like titties, get them while you can because they will not be featuring in this film again. Only Charlotte bothered to learn one single piece of information about the woman who lives in her house and works for her. She wouldn't have to be paranoid that her nanny is going to steal her husband. But then we wouldn't have ourselves a movie, would we? Hey, if any of these characters asked anyone a question about themselves and actually listened to the answer, you literally wouldn't have a movie. If any of them displayed the ability to not think about themselves for longer than one minute at a time, you literally don't have a movie. This whole movie is built around the idea, what if there were four best friends who couldn't listen to each other? And it doesn't work. Oh, Charlotte. It's a great scene. I love cupcakes. I'd love to eat one of her cupcakes. They look great. Not the ones she's making right now, but like some of the ones with the, you know, like a cupcake with icing that's about as dense or as high as the actual cupcake itself that's money that's money baby mm -hmm. <laughs> nice nice it's all going wrong just need some handprints on that skirt. <coughs> yes, 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 yes. Scream at your daughter. Scream at your daughter who you're neglecting. Far be it from me to pass judgment on other people's parenting style. But this is a woman in Christ. Yeah. Legend status. Look at all of the jams that these guys have. Oh, she's going to get red all on your white kitchen. Kitchens shouldn't be all white. It's got these crystal door handles, crisp white pantry door. Aaron, what's crazy? What is crazy? All of the staff, all of the help, if you will, in this movie are beacons of empathy and understanding. And it's just totally wasted on our protagonists. All of them, like, live to help others with the awareness that other people are sharing space, lives, Man. So, man, the Jones, I gotta stop eating this chocolate. You used to do me. You used to do my publicity. You used to do me. Got ourselves a little bloody minor league Matthew McConaughey on our hands. Here's a dish, though. On you on that red carpet next to me. A song of lifestyles of the rich and the famous. I, I probably said this on the end just like that series, but when I hear Erica Badu here, I can't help but think it's in the same apartment. It's where Big likes to play Todd Rundgren, which is a huge song and a constant refrain as Carrie grooves him in and just like that. And so it's important to me. That you know you are free Cause I never want to make a change for me Don't change, don't change I can't remember the name of the Erykah Badu song But she samples that very song It's just, it's a satisfaction It's a synergy There's the fact that the whole thing exists So 
Sorry about that, everyone. I just got a text on my smartwatch. Someone telling me that I have COVID. <laughs> like, I don't know that. I want to bloody went to the trouble of finding out. Yeah. If, if I'm Mr. Big right now, and I know that the thing I got carry as a replacement for the desk she was using to do her work, I'm nervous. nervous. Usually, I guess if you're operating on this level, I reckon you'd probably have a few odds and ends, trinkets, maybe a high-end piece of jewellery lying around that you've got as a sort of on-hand break-in-case-of-emergency gift. I'd lead with that, then introduce the TV as a secondary gift. I just do not think you can receive an engraved Rolex that is vintage. And I'm pro the TV, but I just think, read the room, dude, like, know thyself, know thy wife. I'm trying to think, I'm still trying to think of a, a sentence with the word thine in it that isn't ever thine. Oh. I'd like to think maybe all of the stuff that was on that desk when we saw it in frame in one of the previous scenes was like, her first draft, handwritten for her book, and he threw all that stuff in the rubbish. And that's why she turns out such a trash book later on in the movie. Was old. That was nice because it happened one night in a hotel. Did I fuck up? piece of jewellery would have been nice. Mm. Man. These guys cannot get on the same page. Mr. and Mrs. Married... Carrie, two nights a week, you eat takeout and watch TV. You're living a great life. I'd love to see Samantha, like, I'd like to see scenes with Samantha that aren't in this movie. Just like to spend some more time in her company. Uh, I've been cheating on fashion with furniture. What's insane is that occasionally in this movie they address the idea that money is finite for these people, but then other times they totally abandon it. There's no... Con I'm in a good physical spot right now. I'm liking this move I can do with the microphone here. I like having their hand behind the head. I've got a clear line of sight to the screen. I'm watching Carrie and Samantha parade around this high-end hot couture fashion store. Sobu Fusion paid a shitload of money to be in this movie. We get I think three close-up shots of the label on the bag. And I looked it up. It's not a restaurant I could find in New York anymore because I wanted to eat there. Yeah, it's tonight, dude. Oh. Man, it's almost like this isn't working. Problem, problem, yeah, the market fell 100 points today. Do you even know what that means? Because if you do, I need you to tell me. A lot of people at work are upset about it, and I do not know why. I've been out in the town for 30 years. I've seen the town, kid. I need to figure out what these points are. 
and how to get That's right. I, on the other hand, ass out of mm. crazy to me that the straw that's the third close up on Sobu. And he even references its locale. Sobu fusion. Crazy to me that that's the straw that broke the camel's back. I thought to bring dinner home for us. Real hunter-gatherer shit. And she's like, that's it. I'm not going to live in a house where my husband brings me home dinner. We're leaving. Yes! I want to be pushed and shoved and eat bad catered food. Bottoms up. Nice. Go off, queen. Honestly, nice to hear from you, Jay-Z. How are you doing? I could make it anywhere. We're VIPs. We couldn't fake these bangly wristbands. And saying that Big chose to put his wristband on the same wrist as his watch. In New York. <coughs> they don't need that line. I don't need that cameo. Also, this could be like a three-second moment. I know that you need to lap up any screen time you're giving Miley Cyrus, but like... We're not in Hollywood. Congrats. Here we go. In the VIP room, we were told that there are countries that aren't America. Public relations. What an interesting concept. You cannot risk people forming an opinion of who you actually are. You need to hire a third party to manipulate the message you're putting out into the world. Lest it be manipulated at face value on the other end. Public relations. Marketing. These are the big job titles for the big jobs. Marketing. I'm going to figure out how to market this. People aren't going to know to want this unless I find a creative way to tell them they should want it. Usually that will involve finding someone more attractive than your ordinary person enjoying the thing. It was an idea someone came up with at advertising that as yet has not been beaten. Smith Jarrett. Yeah, there are cameras, there are people, there's small talk. Carrie is just finding anyone who will listen to her, pinning them down and fucking waff the non problems that blight her. Carrie Bradshaw is a dead weight that hangs heavy around the neck of this movie. And you are a snitch, Stamford. Honestly, yeah, good on you for delivering that line. Otherwise, we wouldn't know that there was a jumbo shrimp free for all at the bar. Penelope Cruz, you don't need to be here. You got a great life. Get off the set. That's a wrap on Penelope, everyone.
Carry on. Very well. I shall. I've got a cold, dead look in my shark eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that you're enjoying yourself, I'm ready for us to go. But I didn't want to be here, and I found something to do. So maybe we shouldn't. No. Yuck, 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 yuck. Brazen innuendo in the face of a frustrated wife. I love Deadliest Catch. I love that face. Ah, oh, this fight scene is so annoying. Shout out to everyone who's on the second watch with me. If you're out there, you're pretty fucked up. What is it then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Harry, you are upset about the flirt. That's why this argument's happening. Because you're upset about the flirt. So don't lie about that. It's the one reason this conversation is happening. Wow. Do you know what? Just check the time. It's flying. 47 minutes in. I know the inside of the movie still to get through. 47 minutes. Nothing to sniff at. The problem is we aren't compatible, but we're going to be married for the rest of the until you fall in love with a peloton and have a heart attack in our wardrobe. So... Basically, we're going to fucking smash this square peg through the round hole of marriage until you drop dead. Either you can get healthy, prolong the misery that is our marriage, or you could keep chuffing cigars, whiskey, guzzling red wine, ride that bike like you're in the Tour de fucking France, and plop yourself in an early grave. It's the only way you're getting out of here. Now enjoy some deadliest catch. Bad acting. I can do better than that. Watch this. Man, I've been waking up heavy lately. Lots of dreams. Cuisinart. If you're thinking coffee, think Cuisinart? Cuisinart? We don't know how to pronounce our own name. Don't hate her handwriting. All caps pretty intense, but like the general vibe, legible, quite fun. Fucking Americans have the craziest PowerPoints. They've got some goofy ass PowerPoints. Legs hanging out of the wall like a pair of ill-fitting trousers. Proud to learn from other countries, adapt something. The metric system. Celsius. Shit that makes sense. Doesn't need to be as hard as you're making it. What if you spliced a paragraph from every article you've written together, Carrie? It would probably make as much sense as the Error riddled submission you make in a couple of days before you go out for dinner with your husband and F each other's B's out. B, by the way, stands for buttholes. Sorry. 
So why don't we make this phone call last for another five, ten minutes because it's setting up a central tension point for the movie? Maybe we could keep talking longer. My face feels floppy. Oh, floppy face, Montgomery. They call me Mr. Montgomery. They call me Mr. Montgomery because I am the king. Right, introduce us to the star of the show, Captain Cool Guy himself. Would you like some coffee more than anything? In I'm reading the culture pages of the New York goddamn times. To tears by the poem, I need something to get me through this. Yeah. Just like Jasmine and Aladdin. Yeah, nice. She knows what cocktails are. Who's that for? Brady. Yes, smash it. I'll take one sip. I'll take two sips. And then you'll never guess what. I'll take three sips and I am out that fucking door. I love that there's the perfect silhouette of the two words coffee shop behind where he was sitting. How is coffee guy? Ring my bell, ring my bell. Oh, Charlotte, no oh, stick in the mud. I like the line read Smith that I was on person of flames, person of flames, person of flames. She keeps it on the same register. Person of flames, you burst into flames. You burst into flames. You burst into flames. It's not natural, but it works. My boy Brady hitting that Nintendo DS hard. Children's birthday parties. Pulling out the big guns. It's a beautiful day. Hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this was a 10 year courtship. Passion, tears, ecstasy, heartbreak. That's all I got to read this time. like that it was 1998 i didn't even remember that and just like that i guess it's a common refrain which is why it was pulled but i didn't notice the direct line of contact between that and just like that and then just like that i just spent 10 weeks of my life with <laughs> and between you and me learn to love hey just noticed that four-leaf clover dot Carrie's wearing, which has been worn previously. Nice to see a wardrobe item get recycled in a movie that prides itself on burning every single outfit in a rubber-based bonfire at the end of every day's shooting. Why have you got pink ribbon for your packing? Yes, big. Secretly quit caffeine, pretending to drink it, sit in pajamas. <coughs> I bought some pajamas last year. I got bullied too much for them by Chelsea and Olive. I took them to the Salvation Army. I bought boys' pajamas, but I'm a man. Honestly, never felt more vulnerable than when I was trying them on at the pajama store in the middle of the mall. The reason I bought them, even though I knew that they were a bad fit, was because if I didn't buy them, then I'm just a guy who's going to more pajamas and take them off again. Big's carrying got the top three buttons, buttons, buttons undone. I 
Oh. Whenever the movie pulls focus and makes me pay attention to it, I feel upset. Kiri, come on, I know you. I'd love to spend a weekend in their apartment without them or their things, but like, it's not for me to live in, but it would be a nice place to stay for a little bit. It's not against the law, is it, to stay in an apartment? Is that against the rules? Yeah. There's no rush, guys. Take your time. Just, we got a good one, so just have some fun with it. Play around with it a little bit. Feel free to improvise. I'm really happy with the last one, so if you guys want to go again, you can. Five days a week. See, that doesn't work. Samantha's burst into flames works. Carries five days a week doesn't work. It's interesting. This stuff is interesting if you pay close enough attention to it. I would like to think this is the 60th time I've seen the movie. There's something satisfying about the number 60. Climbing out of the 50s. Who eats toast like that? She's ripping a piece of toast into little bits and eating them that way. No one eats toast. Has this woman ever eaten toast before? They've got jam in the middle of the table, but both of their pieces of toast have Nutella on them, but there's no evidence that Nutella is anywhere. What are they doing? The only logical explanation would be burn the toast and it is untopped. They're just eating burnt toast with an open jar of jam between them. This is fucking crazy. Blowing the lid wide open on their breakfast. I like that line read. I like that whose home yours or mine from Kerry. You know, for how much I begrudge Kerry, SJP knows how to act. I don't know that she brings her A game for the whole movie, but every now and then she slides a line read through that just hits it out of the frickin' park. That hat is a fucking outrage. This is how your life is done. You deserve this. It is. It is too much. Yeah. Air hostess is wearing a uniform. That doesn't mean that your hat isn't fucking ridiculous. Nice. Yeah. There was a bit that Pringles couldn't occupy, naturally occupy ad space in this movie. And I think you'll find that whoever bet that they could won. Nice. All the Abu Dhabi do's and don'ts, eh? Oh.
is less the... challenging if you have your eyes shut. It's like less um, grating. Think about the the visual language, the garishness of it, how high end and expensive everything on camera is. If you remove it, you could almost be listening to four people shooting the breeze. But when I look at the screen, I feel like a pain kind of behind my left eye. And um, there's sort of a simmering anger that bubbles up from deep within me. I've always liked that seven star snooze line. Who's ever said yes to good night before? Oh man. We're in the um we're in the we're in the minds here. This is this is a big This is a, there's a lot of work to be done now. Guys. This is gonna be like right now is that say Half hours ago, someone joined me for the start. They went out. You could go. You could go to the cinema, watch your own movie, have lunch, come home. I would like to think that. I like to think about someone doing that. Someone starting, going and living their life, enjoying their their amenities, their liberties, and then coming back and being like, "Well, yeah, he's still in the same spot, in the same t-shirt, talking to the same microphone, watching the same movie." Just to really outline the disparity between how our days or nights are going if anyone has done this please sound off in the comments i'm not going to be able to read it but it'd just be nice for people to know if there is anyone indeed out there at all oh it's a good line All right, you're annoying. Dracula. Good gear. Now, I haven't actually thought about this. What do we think about Samantha's... <laughs> Ver... <coughs> Whoa. Oh, man, I'm at a low ebb. For Maybacks. No. That's a no. It's not too late. Reduce your footprint. Yeah. All live it up. You got it, Miranda. <sighs> nope. Man. We got a lot of Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi do. That foot powered may back out of here, Miranda. No.
Don't say that. Try not to say that. Yeah. Don't say that. Can't say that. Can't say anything nowadays. Can't say anything nowadays, can ya? Can't say a damn thing, can ya? Oh man, I'm just checking how I look. It's not good. Yeah, thanks for doing the bare minimum. You stand in stark contrast to your three friends. Yeah, they have many, many balls, dipshit. I'm going to... You know how it is when your international rugby team goes to the World Cup trial games in Abu Dhabi and everyone just hangs out in the foyer in their uniforms, which are roughly their team colours with the flag and a weird fonted name saying Argentina rugby printed on the back. You know when you do that? Oh. <laughs> Who ordered the cute? That's great. That's quality. Great. Sounds good. Oh, he's made a grave error. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, this sort of thing really catches up with you. There is still so much stuff that has to happen. So much stuff that has to go wrong. I'd like to take the time out of my busy schedule of watching Sex in the City 2 to say, Boo! <sighs> Man, that endorphin rush I was on an hour and a bit ago feels like it was lifetimes ago. Nice, yeah. Great. Those drinks look terrible. I hope they're too warm. I would love a French fry. I'd love... I'd love to be out with a friend. Having like... Shoestring. Perfectly double fried french fries with a lovely aioli well salted and peppered and maybe a frosty cold one and we're just talking we're not talking about anything we're just shooting the breeze whatever comes up comes up man that'd be crazy that feels lifetimes away from being a possibility The funniest thing is if no one is watching this. I should marry this microphone. Oh, yeah. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough to be in Abu Dhabi. It's tough. 
It's tough for these four wealthy white women to be in Abu Dhabi of their own free will. Those are the French fries I want. Uh, dip it. Don't just have it dry. You've got a sauce there. I'm not against having some of them dry, but what I want right now is it to be dipped. I want to dip a French fry. Oh, stop using inter French and yuck, 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 yuck. Does this look more like a bird or a fish? Yeah. Sound off in the comments. Like and subscribe. Bird or fish? If you think it's a bird, use the hashtag team bird. If you think it's a fish, use the hashtag team fish. As these two green and red clips battle it out for superiority. If there's a third unnamed animal you think that these clips resemble, Sound off in the comments using the hashtag whatever animal it is. Uh, dismiss him, please. I need, I need, I need for this to not be. This is the hardest it's been. Stir that milk, brother. Good gag. Yeah, how's that for perspective, Carrie? What it's important you do with this conversation, Carrie, is you lift the actual value and experience of what he's articulating about his lived life and you inaccurately transpose it over your own life and use the information to try and win an argument with your friends. Important that you waste probably eight family meals worth of food at breakfast. And it's important you figure out whether or not Samantha's butler is gay. Vital even. And that's Gay. Nice. Good tag. Great rhythm. Really good. Feeling I want people to have when I walk into a room is the opposite of how I feel when Charlotte walks into a room. Yeah, nice. nice. Here we go. Yeah, but it works for them, so 
Do you still think I'm an idiot? You are insufferable. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. One sip, then souk have the forbidden experience and i trust that you won't but i wouldn't be surprised if later in this movie it comes up again wow wow really wanted to watch the 76ers nets game today since i haven't been online though i could just log on for the replay watch it as live <sighs> I'm so sorry you guys are watching me at this low ebb I'm also like so deep in it now I've removed the fact that Tim did this to me I can laugh <clears throat> and I've just accepted it as what my life is. Ladies. I like that light in the background there. No. Dun, dun, dun. You got enough. Take it from me. You got enough. Ridiculous shoe. I could change my body position, but I should. I should. I should. I should. Invigorates for new energy. We're over halfway through, guys. Chucky, you'd be mad not to. Hey, Aiden, haven't seen you for a while, dude. What's up? And I had some peyote in Arizona once that blew my mind. 
No, it's close. Abu Dhabi? What? You? Why? Yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. I'm in Abu Dhabi. I'm in Abu Dhabi. I'm with my people in Abu Dhabi. With my people in Abu Dhabi. Holy moly, what do you know me? I'm Hey there, who are you? How do you do? What is this shoe? Blue, 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 blue. Whatever. <laughs> this is how I laugh. I go like this. <laughs> oh, guys. Let's let's skim over this back and forth. We all know what's going to happen. You're going to go for a misguided dinner. Aiden really wants to cheat on his wife. You're going to say yes. You're going to have a kiss. She's going to regret it. It's going to go home. Put her in a table big but before she can even handle that or actually as she confesses to big samantha's going to get found out for having sex with a guy who hasn't even been introduced to us yet we need tension by the pool so that miranda can take control of the trip get them on some camels in the desert have a guy in a bloody open top jeep drive by saying what's the point of boring things when you have sunsets and sand dunes samantha needs to feel wet as a whistle they need to go to a karaoke club, sing I Am Woman, Hear Me Roar, get his details, plan a date for the next night, turn each other on like fucking crazy, go out to get dirty on a beach, be dobbed in by some conservative locals, negotiate an exit strategy, realize the room costs $22,000 a night, trip to the souk to return Carrie's passport to her, pick up some gifts while avoiding an angry group of men and the forbidden experience, fly first class back to New York City, tie up any strands of story that we've left hanging loose on this daggy piece of shit, listen to Sydney Lauper's True Colors, and ride off into the motherfucking sunset at approximately 5 p.m. NZT, Friday, March 11th. Guy Montgomery paying his debts. Can't nobody say I don't do it because I do. Shout out to my main man Tim Bat for putting me in this horrible situation. I hope you feel responsible, dude. Yeah, nice Aussie sausage. They've got dicks. That guy's hot. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, but it's a problem. I've got an idea. How about none of you talk about anything? Okay, thanks, Miranda. Unless you're moving the story forward. Friendshin into an interfunction. Yeah. Nothing.
camels, then lunch. It'll be fun. Never understood that joke. I hate that. It is amazing how much food and clothing four butlers can fit in the four my bucks. And we're the stars of the show. My apologies, ladies, for disturbing your fun. I like Samantha's dress. Looks like it was designed by Keith Haring. Underestimated ass part of this movie is Abdul polishing that butter knife. Still polishing it. Do, 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 do. It feels like the first time. Yeah. It feels like the very first time.
Great line. Yeah. No, no, Charlotte, you bloody balls up machine. A number's too big to ignore. And I know too much to go back and pretend. Cause I've heard it all before. And I've been down there on the floor. Never gonna deep me down again. Oh, yes, I am wise, but it's wisdom born of pain. Who, yes, I pay the price, but look how much I've gained. If I had to, I can be, oh, I'd do anything, whatever, man. I am strong, strong, I am invincible. I like watching them act off of each other as they sing because it's like new terrain for them. They're all actually uncomfortable to an extent as actors, I believe. Some weird little moments. Still an embryo with a long, long way to go. Carrie's doing the most. Understand... Oh, yes, I am wise. Yeah. Who knew that these four friends from Manhattan, New York, could liberate the entirety of the Middle East? Such a fucked up thing to just put in the middle ish of the movie. Woman, I'm at that table. That was quite the performance. Could you be any more American? I don't think so. I think like answering your own rhetorical. Day. And all of the night. Whew. Very classy. We're soulmates. Mm. Please 
let us allow everything to go wrong from this point forth. Shall we break the law together? Oh. Carrie Bradshaw, New York City's ultimate single girl, traded in casual kisses for the title of Mrs. Love it, love it. Go off. Everyone needs to go off here. Thanks to everyone who stuck around. I'm short on commentary. I mean, put yourself in my shoes. Charlotte. Charlotte deserves better than the way Carrie treats her. Good on you, Samantha, trying to puncture the tension. And not bailing out Carrie for reading your mail. Yeah, you're all good, Carrie. Yeah, just try not to harsh everyone else's vibe because they're trying to have a nice holiday. So if you could just, yeah, okay, that's gonna, everyone's gonna be aware that you're pissed now. Do, 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 do. Ooh. I sort of hear the soundtrack of this movie the way that when I used to listen to albums over and over, most specifically on The Strokes' Room on Fire, when one song finishes before it gets the next song that boots up in your head. And that's how I feel about the musical transitions between scenes in this film. So in my head, I know what's coming next. And it's a superpower. And this is one of the only settings in which it's of any use. So... Happy to share in it, relish in it, bask in it before it's too late. Do you want the good news? We're a little something I like to call about 45 minutes away from freedom. And then I don't have to do this again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm on that line, Miranda and Charlotte offer such a... It's like, what are you doing? And Miranda's like, yeah, of course, you're going to go to his hotel. Miranda's looking so refreshed after that spa. I think that's it. You know what? Sometimes I wonder if I've got, like endurance or you know self-discipline and i don't think this answers those questions entirely but sitting down and snacking these things back to back tells me i got something 
I can get things done under pressure, under duress. Oh, Charlotte. But Charlotte, what are we going to do with you? You're an over your head. Wow. You don't show up to dinner with your ex in Abu Dhabi at their hotel wearing that dress and not think something's going to happen. You have gone, by all accounts, to too much trouble for this to be above board. When we have a bar, I guess one of the reasons you'd go to a bar when you're in a foreign city would be to experience the culture, rub up against people's lives who are actually, you know, living in the place you're visiting instead of traveling to somewhere and just staying entirely in your hotel. I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but we get these kids with their self-wired sound systems on the front of their push bikes strolling through sometimes and it absolutely bangs. Wish you would. And I love him more than words. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, Aussie. Come on. Come on. Tell you what, nice taking an air out. Even then, I walk around the park, feel like a new man. And I'll tell you this, my computer is working overtime to make this work. This old chunk of coal, it's been on a sort of self-destruction mission for a year now. It is hissing. Nice, 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 nice. Take a sip, take a sip, take a sip. And we got nothing to be sorry for. Our love is one in a million, dear. How far we are. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you got full time help. How did the woman without help do it? I have no fucking idea. Here's to them. Here's to all of the people who don't have full time live in help as they raise their family. So I suppose you could say here's to everyone in society or here's to the ninety nine percent. Me and my friends, Miranda and Charlotte, is through it all, we love to laugh. And, you know, we're not afraid to throw some jokes around, talk about our feelings, <laughs> and just gas each other up. <coughs> Sorry, I don't mean to cough into the mic. Great line read coming up for anyone doing a watch along. Aiden's one that got away. Get ready for it. Kept one eye on you, the one that got away. Hmm. Do you want to try that again? No, I don't take notes. I believe a lot of this movie was shot in Morocco. Would love to go there one day. Visit all of the locations they used in the film. Three boys. Let's have a look at Homer Wyatt and Tate. They're cute and they look like they're from the deep past.
trying to get a rock on you. Hey, dude, you're technically happily married with three children, so I reckon pull it back. Man, are you not? Okay, here we are. You look good. Everyone likes to be told they look hot, especially by Aiden. That was the best Mara I've ever had. Well, how do you do? Hello, how do you do? Oh, here we go. We've got a reason for the rest of the movie to exist. Truth be told, looks like a pretty tidy kiss. If I was Matthew Broderick watching along with this, I'd think, gee whiz, I'm lucky I got away with what I did in Ireland in the 1980s. And then I'd probably be like, my wife SJP looked like she might have enjoyed that a touch too much. Yeah, it was all good, man. Oh, I knew it. I played with fire. Good on you, Samantha. The old hummus mask, eh? Finally, some bloody someone with their head screwed on comes into the situation, eh? Okay, guys. We're down to approx 40 minutes. That is not much time. Wait, less. Approx 30. We're at approx 30. Approx 30. Repeat. I don't know. time I've done Sex in the City 2 back to back. Okay. So we're going to just do it all exactly the same as we did last time again. A kiss. Yeah. Our lips are sealed. Wonder if I've received any emails in the last four and a half hours. If you've got my email address, feel free to send me an email. Fuck you guys. the sound effect on that <laughs> oh, I hate this I feel physically ill That is a paradox. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's a big boy. You can see the outline of his erect penis in linen. Well, do something about it, man. You can't just walk around, you know, with a boner at right angles, undoing people's clothes. You know what you're doing. You know what you're asking for. Oh, Carrie, don't call big just this one time. Okay. Okay. I've hit the wall. This is something that people talk about happening when you're running a marathon. I've run a marathon. And it took less time than this. And it was a mentally far superior experience. And that was some of the greatest, like, most challenging times I've spent mentally pushing through those last 10Ks. All foreign to me. Yeah, she's fine, dude. She just hooked up with her ex-boyfriend. It's, not... it's no biggie. It's no biggie. Nothing to think about, nothing to know about, nothing to worry about, bruh. It's just life, man. It is. Hey, dude, listen. It is what it is. And what it is, is fine. It's chill What'd you tell them? What'd you tell them? What'd you tell them? No. Well, time to look out my big window. Oh, it's a big window. For scale, here's how big my window is. You understand? It's massive. Carrie, rightfully, no one wants to talk to you. It's a good cut there, and it's good work by the makeup department on Matt's lipstick. Stop making this about you, Carrie. I cannot stress this enough. You are exhausting. You're the most exhausting person I've come across in my fucking life. Pull your head in. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing.
Can't wait for dinner. <sighs> Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah. And I'm just... I'm just a guy. I'm out of juice. I will say that for me. I've run out of juice. Uh, uh, I am so... Like... I'm actually going to... For as long as Carrie's talking about this with Charlotte, I'm I've muted it. I actually can't listen to it because it's making me too cross. The word I want to use is incandescent with rage. I there's no audio anymore. There's just me talking because I cannot stomach another second of Carrie Bradshaw crying about this self made problem to Charlotte, who warned or like the total lack of respect that she has. But, and this is Charlotte is, you know, I'm not even on side with her, but like, I just can't hear her doing it anymore. Oh. Charlotte is loyal to a fault. It's actually not a bad movie on mute. It's interesting because I've enjoyed the movie without pictures and I'm kind of enjoying it with pictures and no dialogue now. The main problem that I have detected seems to be when you watch the movie with the movie's audio. That's when I'm running into trouble. I should have done one of the screenings, all audio, no imagery, and the other one, all imagery, no audio. But instead, I've pretty much fucked it up and gone barrels the whole time. I'm unmuting it now. That was actually a bad call because now having it with audio is twice as hard. I'm going to do a little bit with just the audio, no pictures. this guy they doing at the front desk mm, guess again yes the meeting It's amazing. For as long as your eyes are shut, obviously the movie's playing out in my head, but like, if you strip this thing of its imagery, it loses its power. It's crazy that like, the vessels <coughs> themselves are palatable without the sound without the vessels. Did a little on. Where is she when you need him? I can see. I can see the rhythm of that line. What's she gonna do? Everyone's got their own problems. She's got $22,000 a night. Nice. Oh, these women are just like us. They take hotel bathroom products. Something I've stopped doing. Not for any reason. I just, you know. Yes, Carrie. Leave that money. Oh, you forgot your fucking passport. 
I keep expecting them to get on the flight. Oh. Oh. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah. Okay, I can't actually do the pictures for this because they're at their worst right now. In coach. Uh, I would leave Carrie. I would leave Carrie behind and just get on the plane. So, oh, that's a shame, Carrie. I'd love to stick around, but i got to get back to my family. You can do it. You'll be okay. Why don't you hit up Aiden for some help and I'll catch you back in New York. And then I'd go around to her apartment and try and seduce Big. La 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 la. Yeah. Okay. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done, brother. I'm nearly done. Neno, neno, neno. I'm nearly finished. Blue, 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 blue. I'm Guy Montgomery. This has been a, a big day. <laughs> oh, we're good for time? You're getting that. You're probably getting that.
I'm enjoying this scene. <coughs> Bite her. Holy shit. Okay. There is not much left now. Then I get ushered away into a dried flower shop. Change outfits. Slide home. Take care of business. Roll credits. Roll credits. I think they want us to follow them. Come on in. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. The sooner you do it, the sooner that I'm going to um, sit outside. It's interesting. People probably don't want to hear about this, but I'm, um, you know, as well, you know, I've, I've got COVID-19. And I'm assuming it's the Omicron variant, and I've been vaccinated and boosted. And I would say, and I'm fortunate in this respect, but I would say that my time spent watching Sex and the City 2 twice today is worse than any of the symptoms I've had from catching COVID-19. just seems kind of crazy to me like you know so grateful for the protection so grateful that the virus has mutated to be a slightly weaker strain than it has been at its peak but i didn't spend the last two years in my house trying not to watch sex in the city too and yet all things being equal this movie is worse than my experience of being sick currently and you know knock on wood i hope that remains to be the case but this double feature has far and away been the low point of my day and i know you've seen me up high and you've seen me down low and you know everywhere in between but i'd just like to say as this draws to a conclusion that all of the moments of enjoyment all the things i said i was enjoying I guess I manufactured them from within just as a coping mechanism for what I've been doing. I don't actually like this movie. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, sick. Yuck, 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 yuck. We're down to between 10 and 15 minutes it feels unreal to me dun, 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 do 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 great 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 writing great performance great record Great record. Charlotte is being a fucking idiot again. <laughs> That's actually a good line read. When Samantha says, I'm going to fucking kill her. I'm totally with her. Dun, dun. Miranda's the only person who's not responsible for all of this going wrong. Ha ha, you're going to get bumped from first class. You're going to get what you deserve. Oh, bother it. Dun, 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 yeah, yeah. heart of the desert the 
Do you have anything to declare? Yep. I'm Guy Montgomery. Who the hell are you? Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Yep. Oh, I wonder why, Carrie. I wonder why Big didn't meet you at the airport. Wouldn't be anything to do with um what happened, what your friends made you do. You know how your friends made you cheat on Big and then told you not to tell him? But you did it anyway because you're noble. You remember that? What a fucking noble, heroic person you are. How long how long could it possibly take for Sydney Lauper's true colours to kick in here? What do we reckon? Five it feels so far away. Five minutes feels so far. Fucking crack into it. Let's hear some opening bars. We do not need to watch these people arrive home. We need to true colours. If I don't hear true colours, I will not know which colours to let shine. I might let my false colours shine without the guiding hand of rock star Sydney Lauper. Two things I need to know about. What do girls want and which colours should I let shine through? Because as far as I know, girls want to have a lousy time and I should let my false colours shine. So the sooner we could get someone to address this through the medium of the soundtrack of the movie I'm watching, the better for me and the more relaxed I'll feel. But for as long as I'm not being told directly the answer to these two questions the less confidence I have in my natural instincts and I suppose the more likely I am to make some sort of serious error that might have long-lasting negative ramifications and impacts for me in my life and the lives of those around me who I care about and love and for that to happen just because this movie was too long frankly feels dangerous feels disrespectful and downright irresponsible why am I still hearing Sex in the City 2 soundtrack instrumental melancholy refrain when I ordered the song True Colours by Sydney Lauper up to one to two minutes ago? We get it. You guys are going to stay together against the odds, logic, reason. You're going to continue to make each other's lives a living hell until one of you dies whilst exercising in your ludicrous wardrobe. So, here's where it's at. Hang, hang your boots up. Hang your rings up. Get that soundtrack playing and put me out of my misery. All right. I guess I'm just going to walk through the world letting my... Bags put his foot in it there. I actually kind of like that sunken coffee table. A bit weird. I've never seen one with a rim like that, but there's something about it which feels safe. For those of you at home, you know your coffee table traditionally flat top. This is like pretty, this would be two inches down. So like, you know, loose things are less likely to slide off, go under a piece of furniture, get caught up amongst the dust. I'm sure it's got its inconveniences, like, it's more difficult to pick up and replace a glass if you're having a drink while you're watching the news in the hopes that the market goes back up by 100 points. But it's um, it's an interior design choice I've in person or noticed on screen before, and it's something I don't instinctively dislike, which I can't say for a lot of the other parts of this movie. So anything that fits that bill is worth celebrating. I'm pretty pleased that I've had this final burst of energy to take me through final countdown it's really at a low ebb for a while and while i'm not totally feeling myself i am at least well i can get my life in five to ten minutes when this movie's finished and 
I'd like to think, seeing as I paid five ninety nine to rent it off a video streaming platform here in Aotearoa, that the double screening means I extracted some sort of value from it. Heck, even if it made my life worse. Thank you to the instrumentalists playing the opening bars through colours. Miranda is speaking at a working lunch. Yes, some sort of beautiful outdoor patio. Yep. It's really nice that we get to see Ricard Spurt's butt while he reams Samantha Jones in front of a a patriotic display of fireworks, which we are to believe are with their respective climaxes. Rose is three and the nanny's gay. Roses three and nanny and the nanny's gay. The end. That's what we say. We say the end. Our marriage grew out of the terrible twos. Oh, that's so good. But we kept the apartment anyway because, you know. That's how good our life is. Big old fucking mug of tea. Too big. That's just so American to have a mug that big. You would not comfortably be able to drink of drink a cup of tea at its optimum drinking temperature in a mug that big. What about you? Yes, here we go. You have to take the tradition and decorate it your way. Good, good advice, good input. Here we go. And as they lie there, watching a little black and white movie in a very physically uncomfortable position. And do you know the thing is, a lot of these movies are boring as hell. Give it to me. Fucking straight up, give it to me. Tell me what you know about it. Range of colours doesn't make sense. Closing line doesn't make sense. You got trapped between the black and white movie motif and your choice of final song for the movie. But your final refrain, you as the narrator, as a writer, as the protagonist, could have done a much better job of summarising what supposedly we just fucking learned in the last five hours of my life. Gone. Dead. Guy finished. Fucking piss off. Never going to see you again. Guy, buddy? (laughs) Hello? (laughs) Hey, it's him. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm just going to close out of that. That's gone. I don't even know who I'm dealing with now, man. Is this still... Same dude. Same dude, different vibe. What the fuck's up with you? (laughs) You're a changed man. Yeah, um, man. That would change looked... someone. That would change someone if they had to do that. If someone put another person through that experience willfully, that would change a person. Yeah. How do you yeah. feel, guy? So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying if, if someone else had to do that for whatever reason, it would change them. So yeah. I'm a person. I change me. It changed where I'm at today. So that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Real cause. Of yeah, it's fascinating, bro. On. Yeah, it's fucking real interesting, dude. Do you have any interest What's in up with you? Uh, my experience of this? Or are you just throw? Do you just need to? I mean, there's sort of a I'm duality not, here. I'm keep you for long. It, with time, yes. Immediately, no. But in the interests of rounding out the experience, how you spent the last five hours. All I want you to know is that I have had you in my ears every single moment. I've been (laughs) changing nappies, doing feeds, dishes, laundry. We went for a walk 
you know i got you on mobile i have been with you every second of this journey okay i ordered you uber eats everyone thinks i got you pizza because everyone said i should get you pizza and then i said i'll get him pizza but then i ordered you japanese for some reason that never turned up oh my god thank you though that's so nice yeah there's a big tub of ice cream as well with it but it's it seems like that is it's, gone that's wow. just uh that's crazy though that's that's really nice what was it like for you oh man do you know what i can pinpoint exactly when it happened it was at um whatever 3 30 p.m was in proceedings our local time so i think you i wrote this down because i forgot to hit the timer at the stopwatch but you were 18 minutes in at three which means it was 48 minutes into your second watch you crossed a rubicon <laughs> well and truly and from that point on we were getting completely unfiltered in a monologue <laughs> like it was just unfettered guy on tap and um it was very entertaining for me and i just think very interesting from a artistic and psychological point mm. of view really it, you don't often get to scoop someone's brain out of their skull and just look at it it's but that's what it felt yeah, like for good reason like you know We've done that together before. Neither of us had ever yeah. done that by ourselves. That is a cruel and unusual thing to do to a person. Yeah, it's a bad thing to do. I feel bad. But you did it and you've done it, most importantly. I know. I know. Task, I'm on holiday now. And it's not like I did this out of nowhere. Like, you know, we we set up a bit. And yeah, 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 yeah. We spoke about it. Yeah. <laughs> With we've, time we've, we've been, I'm, I'm, yeah, there's no way that I should reopen and relitigate this right You'll now. Talk to I'm a very different... proud of you. You'll talk to a different person tomorrow. I am. I am. I'm uh, I'm incredibly proud of you. And do you, what's like, because you're a bit limited because you've got COVID in terms of, I'm sure all you want to do is just go to a pub or something. Or I'd love to just crack open a cold one. But no, I've got one really high spec zero alcohol beer here. Great. Um, It's a, still a sunny afternoon. I'm probably going to water the garden. Uh, Probably <laughs> do a meditation. That's about something. And then, like, honestly, I couldn't tell you what I'm going to do this evening. I, honestly, when you spend this long watching movies, which are meant to be an escapist joy, like, it does feel like it removes consuming anything visually from your palette of options as something you can do to relax for, for sure. at least, you know, the rest of the day. So I I honestly don't know where I'm at. I felt like I got somewhere pretty aggressive at the end of that. Um I think like fun. you have to stay buoyant. It. You have to stay buoyant for a long time, and then when you're on the home stretch, you can let it all hang out. Because if you if you sort of like if you are halfway through the first movie and you're feeling that anger, you've got nowhere to go. You've got to like you know it's a psychological game. It's a numbers game. Yeah, and I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm not going back there. Well, all, all I can say to you guy is um, have a look on your front step. There might be a melted uh, liter of very nice ice cream and some Japanese that I wouldn't recommend eating anymore. You can chuck that in the bin if that's there. But um, <laughs> oh, that's a lot a of people, a so lot of people have been rooting for you big time. And uh, that's really people sweet. Been walking, walking the path with you. Not me, but I with, heard you doing I like, it. But I like what I, I thought about it during the movie, and it's something I hoped that happened, is I hope I don't want anyone... I'm not against people being there for the whole thing. Like it's sweet and it's nice and they might've enjoyed it, but I want to know about the people who were there had other things to do. Mm. Like did them, you did it, you know, you professionally, you were invested and you did it alongside me. I was, you were with me the whole time. I want to know about someone who was there for like 10, 15 minutes. They're like, I've got to go and, you know, meet this friend. I've got to go to sports practice. I've got to like, I don't know, whatever it is people do with their lives. And then they come back. That slightly disorienting experience where it's like, mm. they've been out in the world for four hours. They come back. I'm still in the same place physically and mentally. That is an interesting journey to me. You should fire, fire us a message with um, what's happened through your experience of seeing what guys experienced. Facebook.com slash we study of all time. Seem to say... Uh, Oh, wait, that's hard, actually. Yeah, just send us a message. I better go figure out um, what this baby needs. But do I'm what you've got to do, man. Thanks. I appreciate it, Tim. And thanks for um, thanks for the support and, like, for ordering me that food, even though I didn't eat it. And, you know, like, I'm going to go and check the front step and, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to, like, 
I don't even know. Like you know, Chelsea. Go, go I think live been your in life. The house the whole time. Yeah, I'm gonna go. The shackles and... are off. Chelsea's out right now. She's not home. It, really? Yeah, yeah. I've been messaging her to check on the Japanese, but she's she's home soon. But she's not home right now. <laughs> this feels so fucked up. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. Okay. See you, man. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.